What's up, guys? John here, Titan Talk Tuesday. It's a beautiful start to the week. We're officially in June. Summer is here, so we're going to have some good months, hopefully. Everybody's getting out there. They're being active, which is good. You know, there's been a lot of crazy things that have been happening lately from, you know, everything that's going on out there. You guys know, I mean, you got to be on the moon or something not to know what's going on. I think the people up in the space station even know what's going on. They're probably looking down. I was like, what the heck is going down down, down there? So it's pretty crazy. So I'm glad to see all you guys. Thank you guys for all tuning in. I appreciate all you guys. Britt, how you doing? John, how you doing? How's everybody doing out there in Facebook land, YouTube? I appreciate you guys tuning in. I got a heck of a show for you guys. I always try to put together a very entertaining show, but informative, educational. That's where the key's at, and that's why I think a lot of people keep coming back. I've been doing this for two years almost now. God, it's coming back. It's going by quick. It's going by real quick. So let's talk about it. So let's talk about some of the first things. One, let's talk about the therapy of the week. I just get a lot of questions, especially about our signature vitamin amino acid therapies. So this one is Nectar of the Gods. I love that. It's just a great title. It goes along with the Greek theme, which I'm Greek, so it's a beautiful thing. Uh, but Nectar of the Gods, it's an awesome blend. Very comparable to Hercules Potion, but it doesn't have an anti-fatigue amino acid like ornithine and does not have the other component for the nitric oxide, L-citrulline. What does it have in it? It has arginine in it. It has lysine in it. So you still get a vasodilator for blood flow because that's good for you. It's good for heart health, right? You get lysine in there, which is good to build the immune system. You're also going to get proline. It's going to help with joint movement. But the two big ones in there that you're getting that are really going to help as far as immune boosting and immune support is glutathione and NAC and acetylcysteine. That's what that stands for, okay? And these are both antioxidants as far as that goes for the body. It's going to help with liver functions, pollutants out there, uh, some x-ray dyes, you know, that's, that's bad for the body, believe it or not. Um, it's going to help with a number of different things out there, toxins. So these things you really, really want to keep down, all these bad things and you want to put good stuff in your body that's going to help protect your body. And that's kind of what it is. It's kind of like a daily protectant. Now, the glutathione in there is at 60 milligrams. If you were to get glutathione straight from us, it's 200 milligrams. So it's a little bit less as far as it goes, but it's a lot of different components in there, especially with the NAC, precursor to glutathione. So that's another good one, and that's going to be also helping along with boosting your immune function, helping with liver functions, help you kind of block out these toxins and things that you're taking into the body daily that are very, very harmful. So, and we're gonna talk about another thing down the line that it will help out with. And we'll get into that when I get to that, that topic. But Nectar the God, so it can be used daily. It's usually taken in the morning, usually from most patients' perspective and what the medical providers prescribe. And that's just because in the morning, you're starting your day usually, you're waking up and you're getting out there. So. Starting the body off with defense and some of these other different amino acids that are in there are going to help you guys out as far as performance-wise, quality of life-wise daily usually, and protecting your guys' body. Or hopefully, you know, you know, protecting some of the, of the organs too as well, like I talked about the liver. So Nectar of the Gods is a really, really good one. We get a lot of patients that are on this therapy. This is a very, very natural therapy as far as that goes. I mean, it's it has no hormones in it. It's only vitamin and amino acids. It is injectable. It's reason for that. I get a question all the time. Hey, John, why does it have to be injectable? I don't like needles. Totally understandable. First of all, it's a little insulin needle, so it's very, very small. The second thing is the absorption, right? So the way and fast transportation rate that you're getting in. So you're getting a lot faster, you're absorbing a lot more. And that's why. So you'll, you'll see a lot or a bigger difference, I would say, more than an oral version that's going to get broken down the gastro tract and you're not going to be getting as fast into the body and as much, right? How you guys doing? What's up, Paul? How you guys doing, Troy? John, just a heads up. We're having issues with restream for some reason. Ooh. It's not up. Still recording everything. Okay. It's kind of crazy. We're having All right. Show. So, sorry, a little technical difficulties on, I think, Facebook side or YouTube. I don't know. 
Either way, don't worry. I'm going to put it on there for full if you guys aren't seeing all this. Okay? So, Therapy of the Week, Neck to the Gods. If you have any questions about it, you can always call or text 727-389-3220. What's up, Raw? How you doing? All right. So, let's talk about the next thing. The WHO. So, the World Health Organization. I find this kind of funny and very ironic. It's just really, really crazy. These are the go-to people in the medical field in the entire world. The World Health Organization. The WHO. So I've been reading back and forth like, you know, it's just been really crazy. You know, you read some information from them and the CDC, right, for the Center of Disease Control, that's in the United States, and they're putting out this information, right? And they were going on TV and saying there's some information. And that information we take very seriously as Americans, right? Or even the World Health Organization, the whole world goes by what they say. They are, you know, the guidelines. They are the say-all, be-all of it, pretty much. So we take it very serious, and we want to go along with what they say because we want to be healthy, we want to protect ourselves, we don't want to hurt other people. So an epidemiologist went on TV on Monday, and basically for the WHO, and said that asymptomatic patients... It was very rare for them to transmit COVID-19. She said, basically, you know, what it comes down to is, is that, you know, and this makes perfect sense and very logical, right, if you think about it, that they're not coughing or they're not showing symptoms, right? They're not sneezing. So the droplets aren't getting out, out as much. And usually you have to be really, really close to somebody in very close proximity and maybe micro spit might get on you or something like that for them to transfer. So today, because it caused a big ruckus, especially in the medical field, today they went on and they said, well, asymptomatic people can spread very easily. So it's kind of like, you know, why, is it true, is it not true? I mean, we've heard the same thing about the masks. I think that masks do work with the help and stop and spread it. And that's, you know, and stop getting it. And that's why doctors wear masks. I don't care what you guys say out there. You know, surgeons go hours with a mask on their face performing a surgery. You know, so at that point, I think if you're cleaning a mask, because people will get sick if they wear a mask over and over and over and over and don't clean it or don't use, if they're using a disposable mask, there's a reason. It's disposable. You're only supposed to use it so much and so for so long. But a cloth mask or anything out there with a filter, if they have the replacement filters, you've got to replace them. It's the same thing with your house. You have filters and you have to replace. They're going to get old after time. They're going to get dingy dirty and then you're going to be breathing that in see it's a great example okay because every month i got to change mine or i look at it i'm like wow this you know we don't smoke or anything like that but this is pretty dingy we've got dogs i guess whatever it is but it's pretty dingy and i got to clean it if you don't clean you're going to get sick so it is what it is so it's really crazy to hear about the who's saying this and then going back and then talk about it again it's nuts you guys you know, just keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, you know, make the best possible judgment for you guys, all right? New federal data, it shows that the obesity rate is at 42.4%, all right? That's up from 30.5% 30, 30 in 1999 to 2000. That's a huge jump. Now, the reason I bring up obesity is because it's an epidemic. It, it's, it should be a pandemic, right? It's just a slow killer. It's not as fast as COVID-19. It takes a long time for you guys to develop health issues because of obesity. And the reason is because of inflammation. Inflammation is another big one. Inflammation brings on a lot of different health issues for people. And they know, now clinicians know and doctors know that obesity is a huge problem, especially here in the United States, especially with those numbers that jump up and show you that. I mean, that's almost one out of two people. <laughs> I mean, you get two people in a room, one's going to be obese and one's not by those odds, almost, right? At 42%, it's almost there. It'll probably hit 50 very shortly. That's half. That's half of us. It's nuts, right, to think about. I mean, our kids, our, our you know, our, our loved ones and everything like it. And we just see this, right? And now medical experts out there are saying that we need to come out with more weight loss medications um, and maybe possibly surgeries or different surgeries for patients. They're seeing that, you know, basically when you went into a doctor, they would say, eat less and be more active. You'll lose weight that way. And they're seeing that some of these people are not losing weight that way. And they're going to have to go with different alternatives. 
And that's where these weight loss medications or these surgeries come into play for these people because people have different things. The big thing and underlying possibly, and I'm telling you this because a lot of patients hit this plateau and then when they fix their hormones, a lot of different things open up for them. You know, they get past some of these plateaus, weight loss plateaus, lean muscle plateaus, you know. So if you're going through muscle wasting, right, you're losing muscle, you don't know why. You're not being able to lose weight, but you're following the path of you're eating healthy, you're exercising more daily possibly, strenuous exercises, and at that point you're not losing weight. You're, you're, you got a trainer, your trainer's like, I don't know why, you know, what this is going on. You're following the plan, what's going on? So that's where really the blood test will show. But my main thing about obesity and inflammation is, is that you're more at risk for COVID-19 or other diseases, right? Or you might have some of these different diseases. You might have diabetes, which is crazy. High blood pressure. This all comes from inflammation too as well. These are silent killers. And then when you're getting them all together, you're putting, you're putting a group of silent killers together, a gang pretty much, and they're attacking you from a number of different ways in the body and health issues. This is some things that we have to teach our kids too. Our kids don't know, and if they follow our example, and most of the examples I see out there, and all fast food and stuff like that, totally understand why you're feeding your kid fast food, because it's easy and convenient. But at that point, they're gonna deal with it later on. And our population is dealing with it right now. And we're gonna deal with it more and more until we have better food choices out there, and food sources, and people are getting more of an education about their body and what they need to do. Um, that's just what it is what it is. So I want to bring it up because it's pretty serious. I bring obesity a lot, but when I see these numbers, I'm like, oh my God. Like it, we're almost at fifty percent. And that's you know, that's not people like the other fifty percent are all like diced up or jacked up. No, that's not it. But they're not obese, right? And on a BMI scale, that's thirty and above. So body mass index, BMI. Now, BMI is not always on. And let me tell you the reason why I say that. Because body mass index, you know, that's pretty much for everybody, right? But if you put me on the body mass index at 210 or 215 pounds, even though I might be 9%, 10% body fat, I still come back high in the BMI. <laughs> you know, and that's for a number of different people that have a lot of lean body mass, a lot of good muscle on them. And that's where it's like, all right, well, but you obviously can tell the difference between one person that's in shape, in physical shape, and one person that's obese, right? Now, another person, you know, another person brought up to me like, all right, so what's the big thing? Should I look good on the outside or look good on the inside? Well, I would want to look better on the inside as far as my organs and everything that was going on there because you can always change the outside. Because I've seen a number of different people that look extraordinary on the outside, but on the inside don't look so good as far as blood tests and all their liver and kidneys and issues like that. So... There can be different issues going on with people on the inside. Just because they look good on the outside doesn't mean that. And some people I've seen, you know, overweight are still healthy in their blood work. But later on, if they continue on that path and lifestyle, that's where the problems are going to come to play, I think. Um, so that's just a little bit about obesity, man. All right, so let's go up. Like I said, lifestyle changes might not be enough. It might need hormones or a medication, thyroid. It could be a number of different issues. You want to get that checked out. So, if you guys are doing all the diet stuff that you need, I mean, just nutrition, you got a good nutrition, you got good food, good food sources, you know what calorie intake, you know everything is going on. Um, if you want to look at macros, you can look at macros, look at carbohydrates, proteins, fats, you know, be knowledgeable about what you're intaking. Look at the back of the label, don't read just the marketing on front. Read the back of the label, know what's in it, know what you're intaking per day. You can keep track of this. There's apps that keep track of it, or you just keep track in your mind. If you can't, you keep track of it, you know, like that. So that's one way to do it. Um, all right, so health and workout tips. So we're going to be giving away health and workout tips. I know we're going to shoot some videos here this week about them and kind of get, you know, a breakdown of, you know, what are some of these things. I get asked these questions all the time. You know, these different tips that I'm going to just – give you guys the answer to what I would tell somebody if they asked me through DM or through here or wherever it's at or in person. And these tips should help you guys. They'll be very basic tips, things you guys can incorporate in your daily lifestyle or maybe your training regimen 
and uh, get a little bit of better result. We all want better results. We want instant gratification. I know, especially in the generation we live in today and technology the way it is out there, we want instant gratification. So, you know, this is something that can show you guys maybe a better result and motivate you guys more to do what you guys are doing, right? It's about being healthy. It's about living a better quality life and being there for our loved ones and seeing the great memories, right, that you don't want to miss because you're sick in bed or maybe not there and passed away because of some of these different things. So it's very serious. Health is very serious. Uh, I wanna see people be healthier every day. I wanna make sure that obesity thing lowers. We need to lower that, guys, because that's our loved ones, right? That's our friends, that's our teachers, that's everybody out there. This, this, this number includes every single person, black, white, Asian, Hispanic, everybody out there. Uh, and they did, they did say in the study that minorities were a higher base for this, um, for some of these diseases too, as well as diabetes. So at that point, we want to make sure that you guys are looking after yourselves, you guys are doing the right thing, all right? And Type Medical Center is here for you. So with further ado, let's do the giveaway. So I want to give away at least a t-shirt or if you're a girl, leggings, or you can get leggings for your significant other, your girl, or whatever like that is. But I want to give away the camel leggings. So it'll be the black, gray, and white camel leggings. And we're going to give away or a V-neck shirt. So you guys can have a V-neck Titan shirt, or if it's a lady, you guys can have the leggings. All you guys gotta do is hashtag Titan Gear, and you're going to text that to our main number, 727-389-3220. We'll pick a winner, we'll let you guys know, get your address, get your size, and send it out. All I ask is, is when you get that Titan Gear, please take a picture of it or with you in it, and tag us in it, please. We want to see you guys at least got it. You guys like it. If you guys don't like it, let me know. And I'll try to send you out maybe something different. I don't know. But I promise you guys, you guys should love the material. You'll love the quality. It's top notch. And that's what we're about here at Tarpon and Titan. Top notch therapies. First class service for our patients. That's what Titan Medical Center is all about. That's what we built our principles on here. So make sure you guys are tuning in and you guys are now so thank you but tune in have your friends tune in tight medical center on facebook instagram twitter TikTok. make sure you guys check out our youtube page our youtube page has tons of videos and they're longer videos because some of the social media platforms limit the number or, or the length of the videos i should say and at that point we want you guys to see them in full so guys go to youtube subscribe hit the all notifications button so you guys see all the new videos we're coming out with i got a reconstitution video of medication i'm going to share tomorrow so big heads up so if you don't know how to reconstitute hcg semorelin opera imperelin CJC 1295, BPC, TB500, Thymosine Alpha 1, any of those things that are lifelized, I'm going to do it for you guys in a video, a full video, so you guys can see what it takes or how you should do it, you know, the steps. I'll break it down for you guys so you guys know what to do and how to do it. Then if you have any questions, if you're a patient, please call or text us. We're here for you guys. What was the hashtag again? Hashtag is Titan Gear. So... Brittany, the hashtag is Titan Gear, and you're going to text that to 727-389-3220, our main number. So I appreciate it, guys. It's been an awesome Titan Talk Tuesday. Seriously, we covered some great topics today in a short amount of time, too. It wasn't that long. We've been going about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I think it was about 20, 21 minutes. That's good. That's really good. So I want you guys to know about it, right? All right. One more thing before we go. I don't want to miss out on it is the poll question, right? Is your body ready for summer? With everything opening up, are you looking to or for something to boost your immune system? So there's two this time. There's two polls. There's one right up there. All right. So is your body ready for summer? 15% of people said yes. Wow. 69% said no. 7% on both said no almost and no I don't care. Okay. All right, so almost and I don't care at 7% is the lowest. 69% said your body is not summer ready and we're here in the summer. Let's see, I'm not even summer ready and I got abs. I'm not even there yet. So I understand where you guys are at with the no, almost there. 
But no, if you're not completely there, listen, there's not a better time to start. You could possibly get in shape here, 30, 60, 90 day transformation. Make it great, right? We'll share that beautiful Titan transformation that you post for us. So I want you guys to seriously, if you guys are in that no category, start now. Now's the time. Don't wait, but you know, I'll do it next summer. I'll have all winter. No, you guys are just making excuses. Don't make excuses. Start now. If you're not getting results in what you're doing currently, change it. Right? If you've been on that path, you've been trying something for so long, and you're not getting a different result, change it. Done. That's it. For you 15% out there, God bless you. You used the quarantine, right, as an advantage point. You did what you had to do. You didn't get off track. God bless you. So enjoy your summer. Stay fit. Stay healthy. Get some sun, right? And uh, have a good time. That's what summer's all about. We all look forward to summer, especially as kids. Most of us today, right? Summer's coming. Summer's coming. I can't wait for summer. Well, summer's here, guys. I think adults like summer just as much. It's just we got to work. That's it, all right? We don't get a summer vacation. Uh, you're welcome. All right, so next poll. With everything opening up, are you looking for something to boost your immune system? 40% said no. 50% said yes. And 10% said no, but why should I? So, 40% of you said no. Maybe you guys you know, have a strong immune system. You guys didn't get sick. You guys aren't worried about it. It is what it is, right? Maybe you guys are eating good fruits, you know, antioxidants through their AI. Who knows? So that, I guess that's good. 50% said yes. So if you're looking to boost your immune system, we talked about some of these different foods with antioxidants in them, right? Some of these fruits before. You also want to look at therapy-wise, thymosin alpha-1, glutathione, nectar of the gods, which was a therapy of the week. These three are very, very strong as far as immune system boosting or have great function as far as boosting the immune system. Thymosin alpha-1, increasing T cells, which go eradicate these bad things in the body, right? You have nectar of the gods, which has glutathione and AC in it. It's going to help boost the immune system. Straight glutathione is great. It's a super antioxidant. It's going to help get rid of those toxins. It's going to help you hopefully get over sickness faster or defend you from getting this sickness. Um, that's kind of what glutathione does for you guys. So I'm very, very happy that 50% of you guys still want to boost your immune system. I'm still looking to boost my immune system. They say COVID is not gone yet, or there might be a second wave. Well, you know what? Boost your immune system. There you go. That's the best thing you can do. You can put up the best possible defense and, and pray and hope for the best, okay? So we covered these polls, which were great polls. What's up? How you doing, Jose? Tommy, what's going on? All right, so we're officially done with Titan Talk Tuesday. I went through all the social medias, told you guys to go to YouTube, make sure you guys do, and we covered a number of different topics today from Nectar of the Gods, the obesity problem, um, the who changing their mind left and right, flipping, flopping everywhere. Uh, you know, lifestyle changes might not be enough. You might have to look at some different options. Okay, and listen, if you guys are looking for a meal plan or a training plan, Titan Medical Center has custom ones at titanmedicalfitness.com. Uh, there's a lot of detailed information there you guys can go look up to as well. All right, so I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you guys. This has been a great Titan Talk Tuesday. I'll see you next Tuesday, 6 p.m. for another great show. Thanks, guys.